Welcome to the second part of this series on how to access and use the online library. The purpose of this presentation is to teach you how to conduct simple keyword searches using the eBrary and ProQuest databases. The first step is to select a database to search. eBrary searches through thousands of textbooks and ProQuest searches through thousands of articles and periodicals. For now, let's take a look at the eBrary database. The next step is to come up with the keywords you want to search. Keywords are the subjects you want to find information about. In this search field is where we will type in the keywords. For the purposes of this presentation, we are going to conduct a search on a popular topic, social media marketing. So we take these keywords and type them in a simple search field and click search. The next step is to filter through your results. After you run a search in eBrary, this is the screen you'll see. Notice the search and title results tabs are highlighted, indicating we did a search and, more specifically, a title search. Here we can see our search terms. And below we have our search results, one of 20 of over 25,000. That's a lot of documents. And as you play with this, this database, I'm sure your searches will become more specific and narrow. In addition to the title search, other search options include the chapter search, which helps us in identifying the specific chapter in any given resource where our search results can be found. The chapter search breaks down our search results by rank or importance, the chapter the key terms can be found, and the title of the specific resource. Finally, we have the searches options, which shows our queer search query, or queries if they've done more than one, documents found, which shows how many results were located in a given search, and action, which allows us to save a search, remove a search, or search for something else in hopes of getting better results. Now let's take a look at the ProQuest database. Again, ProQuest allows us to search for articles and periodicals. Periodicals are also known as magazines. Again, the first step is to come up with the key words you want to search. Here is the main page for ProQuest, and with over 1,800 resources, you're sure to find something you can use. Let's type our keywords in the search field and click Search. Next, we need to filter through our results. Here we see our search query and results of 67,000 results. Well, here are some suggestions for future searches. And to help our searching, we can sort through our results by relevance and publication date. We can also narrow our results using a few tools. For example, we can choose to search for just scholarly journals or magazines or reports. We can also search our results for full text resources, or those which were reproduced in their entirety, or peer-reviewed results, or those which were critically examined by people other than the author in a particular field of study. So now let's select both the full text and peer-reviewed options, and we get over 22,000 results. Now that's a lot, but it is two-thirds less than we had before. And with a little tweaking, I'm sure we can get that down even further. Now, Let's proceed with part three of this series and learn how to conduct advanced searches in the, both the eBrary and ProQuest databases.